I wanted to ask you, I don't know if you saw earlier, we were talking about certain kids being out of control and stuff like that. And I know your dad was a very strong influence in your life. He didn't want you to be an actor, did he? And, and also, he was quite strict and your mum was less strict. Yeah. Did, were you sort of kept on the straight and narrow by that thought of disappointing or upsetting your dad? Yeah, yeah I, I, uh, I was a huge disappointment to him, I think, because he was very much a self-made man, my dad, and he believed in working hard. I spent most of my life trying to avoid work. <laughs> <you know. laughs> um, and then at school, I just, um, I just mucked about, impersonated the masters. I was in all the school plays. I played a lot of sport. I was quite good at sport, mm. which he was, he was uh, quite pleased about. But uh, academically, I was hopeless. I didn't but he really was proud good. of you, wasn't he, ultimately? Well, eventually, I found out. He didn't, uh, he didn't seem to be, to begin with. He, um, when I, uh, one of the first television jobs I did was in Z Cars. Mm. I was a semi-regular in Z Cars. very excited about that. I said, oh, Dad, should you see me in Z Cars? And he said, no, I don't watch that rubbish. <laughs> oh, oh, OK. But I learned later from, uh, from uh, somebody he worked with up in London um, who came to a party uh, that my mother held. He said, your dad's so proud of you, you know. I went, is he? Aww. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, every time you're in Z cars and he's working late, he goes into the minister's office, switches on the telly and he says, that's my son. Aww. Aww. He told me he never watched it. <laughs> Did he ever watch You and Only Fools? Yeah, I think so. But he, uh, mm. by that time, he, he was on the slippery slope of uh, Alzheimer's. Mm. Uh, mm. And uh, so it's difficult to say, really. Um, mm. it, he, he's, he had a thing about... He never thought it was a proper job, you know. That's yeah. an unusual yeah. thing. But television particularly had something against. He thought it was invasive. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and he always had this thing against it. So if I was on the telly, he'd, uh, he'd always deny that he, he was watching it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a generational thing as well, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yes, I, I, I think, think it is, yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, you hear it quite a lot that, uh, that dads won't say, particularly to their sons, you yeah. know. You just want an arm round you, don't you? A bit of encouragement. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do, anyway, so... Uh... Well, we're going to give you a big old cuddle and possibly a snog, because we think you're fabulous. <laughs> we do think you're fabulous. Well, on camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. just you wait. 